Hello, I'm going to do a quick review of the East Coast, I think it's called an ST1, it's the entry level East Coast strap type guitar from Anderton's. People get annoyed if you don't actually show taking it out of the box, so here you go. Looks like it's double boxed, which is good. There's your standard kind of triangular shaped box that you get with guitars. Very good. <coughs> bring the camera a bit closer in a minute. It's got an inspection card from Anderton. Here we've got some Allen keys here. And a tremolo arm. It's well packaged. Uh, this, this guitar was just over £100. I think it was £109, £110. Um, I'm not... I'm going to... If I pick small details up, I do know that it's a cheap guitar, but there's no point me reviewing it and just ignoring things. So um, it is honestly the first time I've seen it. Headstock looks undamaged, very standard string trees. Nice dark looking fingerboard, absolutely not rosewood, but at this price, even um, a lot of the Mexican stuff that's a thousand pounds now isn't rosewood. Let's have a look at the frets. Not bad. Not bad. Seen a lot worse on a lot dearer guitars. I'm going to try and show you as much of this guitar as possible. These look like medium jumbos. I've only bought it as a spare. I actually I went to Anderton's, two things that, well, I like the shop, but two things that impressed me, I played a £2,000 Sir Classic S that I loved, didn't buy it, and I played a load of these East Coast guitars, and for the money they're amazing. I'm not a fan of, I like Squires, but I don't like the thinner bodies. I don't know whether these East Coasts have you know, close to one and three quarter inch bodies, but they seem to be thicker than a lot of the Squires. And I know that the classic vibe and some of the high end Squires have thought full thickness body. Paint finish looks good. You see those bridges on loads of Chinese guitars. That's quite a nice touch. Yeah, switch is quite Solid, yeah, I mean, I'm going to guess that there are alpha pots in there, but who cares, you know. I think us guitarists sometimes, <coughs> some of us actually want things to fail on guitars so we can upgrade it. So yeah, let me just flip it over. This Lake Placid Blue, it's definitely not, it's more of a ocean turquoise or whatever they want to call it. I like the colour, but it's not Lake Placid. Tuners are level, again, I've seen unlevel tuners on a lot higher quality guitars than this. Uh, I tend to like Fenders with 12 inch rads, uh, sorry. I tend to like F style guitars with 12 inch rads and uh, this, this is what this has. Generic neck plate and bolts, very large. <laughs> 
uh, back plate is probably a very small trem block but again who's who cares at this price right I might see issues when I'm editing this video but it looks damn near perfect um, Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching.